Okay, hi folks, Jesse Ivy back with you again today. And today we are uh, having our series going on about how to buy land with no money down. So the first thing you need to do, this is episode two actually, I did another one, so you'll have to go back on our channel and find the other one I did. I did it probably a year ago or so, but this is episode two on how to buy land with no money down. So getting into it, uh, another scenario that you could try would be this. First of all, you gotta find a motivated uh, seller. So let's pretend you're a person who has no money uh, or you have enough to make you know, a sizable uh, payment every month maybe, but you just don't have a big chunk to put down. You don't have a thousand bucks. You don't have 5,000 bucks. You don't have 10,000 bucks to put down on a piece of land. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find a motivated seller. And a motivated seller, that just means somebody that's wanting to unload their land, maybe just want, you know, to unload it so they don't have to pay the taxes anymore or they just want to get rid of it and they've been, um, you know, trying to get rid of it for a while. So that's the first thing you need to do. And how do you do that? You can do that by uh, putting an ad like on Craigslist and say, uh, you know, um, hi, I'm Jesse. Um, you know, I want to I want to buy a piece of land looking for a piece of land looking for a motivated seller um, Can make monthly payment on a piece of land something like that You don't have to say I'm Jesse, but you know what I'm trying to say and you just could put that like on Craigslist uh, the, the other thing you could do you could, could go on to land watch lands of America Realtor.com and look around for uh, somebody who you've noticed that you know you've been looking for land uh, we'll just say you're looking for land in Oregon, okay? So you've been looking for land in Oregon for a while. You've noticed some of these properties have been on for sale for quite some time, these land pieces, and you uh, have noticed that for a while. And that's what you do. You kind of are stocking prey, so to speak. So uh, the next thing you do, once you find somebody or maybe a few people, so, so you find somebody that, that you've noticed that their property's been for sale for a while, and you end up sending them an email and you say, hey, uh, Mr. Seller, I've noticed that your land has been for sale for a while. Um, I have the means uh, to make a monthly payment, but I don't have a lot down. In fact, I don't have anything. Uh, or you get them to talk to you on the phone or whatever. So there's multiple ways you can make this attractive for somebody. So let's say you run across this guy, he inherited some land, he's been trying to sell it, it's not selling. Um, one thing you can do is you could offer him, uh, you know, uh, so let's say he's trying to sell, he has five acres, let's say, and uh, his land's for sale for, uh, let's just say it's, he's trying to sell it for $20,000, okay? Now you don't have a lot of money, okay? You don't have the $1,000, you don't have the $5,000 to put down on the property, okay? So you're gonna have to go about this a different way. You're gonna have to say, hey, Mr. Seller, you know, I've noticed that you've had your property for sale for a while and I was wondering if perhaps you would be interested in doing some owner financing, like, you know, would you be able to, uh, you know, offer to, you know, be able to offer me financing so I'm able to buy the land uh, from you. And some sellers are going to say, no, I only want cash. But you're going to run across some sellers that might say, like this guy, I inherited this land, you know, I don't really want it. Um, well, what do you have in mind? Well, um, you know, my name's Jesse. I, I don't have a lot of money down, Mr. Seller, but um, I was wondering if you would be interested in any of these scenarios. Um, I noticed that your land is for sale for $20,000, and I have enough to make the monthly payment on this, um, but I was wondering if you would be interested in maybe offering me some owner financing, and in return, um, I don't have a a down payment but would you be interested in me just starting making monthly payments and I could offer you so you're trying to sell your land for uh, $20,000 um, I could offer you $25,000 um, and I would offer you a good interest rate like maybe you know 8% or something like that so $20, $25,000 and you carry it for 10 years with a five-year balloon or something like that. 
Uh, would that interest you, Mr. Seller? Well, this guy, it might interest him because, you know, he's been trying to sell the land for a while and he hasn't been able to do it. And he doesn't want the land. He's paying property taxes that he doesn't want to do. So you basically would make this offer. You would offer him... Uh, more of a, you know, like a uh, higher uh, payment and interest rate. Uh, so you're, you know, maybe you're paying uh, 250 a month or something like that, you know, and then he's getting 8% on his money uh, that he's, you know, and he's actually selling the property for more. You know, he had it for sale for $20,000 for this five acres in Oregon. Now he's getting $25,000. He's getting interest on the money. Uh, you know, on his principal, he's getting interest, um, and then you're assuming responsibility for the land. Now, if you don't know how to approach a seller, uh, you know, yourself as far as writing the contract up, you could have a lawyer do it, you could have a realtor do it for you. Um, if you're not comfortable doing it yourself, if you're comfortable, uh, you know, if you're somebody seasoned and, and you know how to write contracts and that type of thing, you can approach it many different ways, uh, but this is one way that you can approach a seller this way by offering to um, you know, do owner financing and see if they'd consider it. Now, some people are gonna say, no, I only want cash, or I'm not interested in that, or whatever. But you're gonna run across other people who are gonna be motivated, they wanna unload their property, they're tired of maintaining the property, or they're tired of paying the property taxes on the property. Anyway, that's a real creative way you could buy a piece of land with no money down. Um, you know, basically just approaching sellers that way. And like I said before, you can find a lot of these sellers on Craigslist, Facebook, Marketplace, Realtor.com, Lands in America, uh, Land Watch. And you just basically contact them. You know, they have phone numbers or they have an email address. And you just don't be afraid. Just contact them. What's the you know what's the harm? And somebody who's motivated, they'll be glad you called. You know, sure you're going to get a few people who reject you or say, hey, yeah, no, I'm not doing that or whatever. But if you send an email, they may respond to you because you'll be surprised. Some people really need the money, especially in this economy with the high inflation. You know, maybe they're underwater in their house, or you know, as far as the mortgage goes, or they can't pay their car payment or whatever, and they want need to unload this property, and they've been trying to sell it a while, and you just show up out of the blue, and there you are. Um, you have this offer, and they're happy to see you. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of uh, how to buy land with no money down. Uh, we will be back again very soon with another video for you to watch. And this is Jesse signing off from the Owner Terms Land Network.